let's take a look at Google Ads enhanced conversion tracking for Shopify. So I looked into this and I needed to set the Google Ads conversion tracking for a client and I wanted to do the absolute perfect setup. And looking at these tutorials, unfortunately, a lot of them had problems or they were outdated or they did not include the new enhanced conversion tracking. Uh, for example, this tutorial is problematic because it's using inline code and we definitely want to use the Google Tag Manager instead of inline code like this. Also, it's not including any of the enhanced conversion tracking setup. So for these two reasons, for example, I would not follow this tutorial for a professional setup. So the enhanced conversions uh, are something I have a blog post and a video about, about explaining those in detail. So I won't go into too much detail, but in, not, in a nutshell, they are going to record more conversions and they are more accurate. So if someone is using a browser like Brave uh, with more privacy, perhaps they have some ad blocking going on, or maybe they click on one of your ads using a mobile device like a iPhone or whatever, but then switch to their laptop. So a lot of scenarios, also iOS 14, iOS after that. Uh, all kinds of scenarios where uh, cookie blocking uh, is happening for one reason or another, and the conversions would not be uh, counted using the normal cookie Google Click ID tracking setup. So we want the enhanced conversion tracking for Shopify, definitely. Okay, let's take a look, a brief overview on how to do this. First, you will go to Google Tag Manager and you will create a new uh, container. And he, now you will install Google Tag Manager. You will copy this. You will go to edit your code for your theme look for the theme.liquid file and add Google Tag Manager here uh, inside the head tag and save. Next, I recommend that you go to preview and make sure it's installed correctly. So Google Tag Manager should be installed to Shopify. So click connect here and let's make sure. All right, here we see the tag assistant is connected and we have the Google Tag Manager found. Next up, I'm gonna install Google Tag Manager into your order, on, into my order status page. So inside settings, you will find it here. Click settings and go to checkout and scroll down here to additional scripts. Here you will install Google Tag Manager and install this extra code that's going to enable our perfect Google Ads conversion tracking setup, including all the information like the city, region, country, postal code, first name, last name, email, and a custom event for Google Tag Manager. Oh, yeah. Inside Google Tag Manager, we must go to variables and we must create a variable for each of these kind of matching data layer parts. So here where we have email, phone, first name, last name, street, city, region, country, etc. We must create matching ones, matching variables inside Google Tag Manager. We will also create a user provided data for Shopify order status page and then link all of our data layer variables to our enhanced conversion tracking variable or the user provided data variable. For our triggers, we have this custom event. It's called Shopify order details and it's the same event we can see here in our data layer push. So this is going to fire our Google ads conversion. Inside tags, we want two tags. We want the conversion linker tag, which is fired on initialization for all pages. This is going to 
uh, save the Google Click ID, the unique click identifier as a cookie. So if I click on any of these Google ads here for Nike, for example, there's going to be a Google Click ID here. So for the URL, we can see that Google Click ID equals something, something, something. And if we go to application and cookies, we can see that this cookie is storing the Google Click ID. So no matter where we navigate on the website, it's going to remember the a Google Click ID for any conversions that may happen. So that's our conversion linker. It's kind of the base for any Google Ads conversion tracking, Shopify or other platforms. And then we have our Google Ads conversion for a Shopify purchase. So this one, you will add your conversion ID from Shopify, uh, sorry, from Google Ads here inside Tag Setup you make sure you get the conversion ID and conversion label to your Google Tag Manager, Google Ads conversion tag. So for conversion value, use the data layer var variables, transaction ID, currency code, etc. And for user provided data, use the user provided data with the variables for all of the client information for the Shopify order status page. Conversion linking is true. All of this looks good. So we can now go to our website, our Shopify store and make a test purchase. Then grab the URL for our test purchase. Go back to Google Tag Manager and click on preview. And here when it asks for a URL instead of our normal URL, we're going to add the or uh, Shopify order status page URL here and click connect. So this is going to open up the order status page in here uh, in one tab. We have the tag assistant connected and we have the tag assistant in another tab. So here we can see initialization has fired our conversion linker, Google tags conversion not yet fired, blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to trigger our Shopify order details custom event. The one we set up here, the trigger. And that is going to fire our Google ads conversion for Shopify purchase. So this it has now succeeded. So I recommend you go click here names to values. And you can see that the transaction ID, all of the enhanced conversion uh, extras are set up correctly. So make sure these look good. Conversion value is the price that was paid. Uh, conversion ID, conversion label, these are from uh, Google Ads to make sure that we send this specific conversion. So overall, our conversion tracking setup for Shopify Google Ads is now looking really damn good. All right, so thanks for checking out my tutorial. If you need help with this, you can hire me to install this for you. And it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be cheap, and it's gonna be 100% sure to work tested professional setup. And I'm also gonna create a product you can buy where you don't need to do all of this Google Tag Manager stuff yourself. You can just buy my little plugin Go to admin and you can click on import and you can just choose a file and be done in just a couple of seconds. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know how it goes. Get in touch if you want to hire me. Buy my pre-made Shopify Google Ads setup and I will see you next time.